welcome back to the video. I'm just getting off school, heading to work. So I don't really have much time to make a video, but I figured on the way there, driving, I'll make a video talking to y'all guys, and I'm about to go to the parking lot of people who don't know how to drive, aka my classmates. Alright guys, as y'all can tell, I'm back in the, the Grand Dam. The, 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 the least favorite vehicle on the channel. Why are you going two miles an hour? Move. Anyway, got the Grand Dam fixed. The two front CVC axles are trash. So we replaced those for about 50 bucks a pop. No big deal. I have a running car. Well, thing is, what y'all do not know is why am I driving the truck? Even though the Grand Dam's fixed, why am I still driving the truck? I'm not not driving the truck. And the reason for that is the truck is down again. Um, I, as y'all know, um, I ordered a Quadrajet carburetor, which is the same brand of carburetor, same exact everything as the stock one, so it was an easy plug and play experience, you know? Make things easy on myself, you know, not, you know, don't make things harder what they have to be. And, uh, well, that, that took a shit on me. So, what we're gonna do is I'm getting that refunded. I'm gonna keep the carburetor, I'll probably, sell, I'll probably rebuild it and sell it. And, uh, Older me and an Edelbrock 650. I'd get a Holly, but the conversion's a whole lot more complicated. It also costs more. So, for about the same price, a little bit more, I'll get me a Edelbrock 650 carburetor. And that will be the new carb on the truck. And hopefully, that will work out very nicely. The hell is rattling. Hopefully, that works out like it needs to. And I start driving the truck to school and all that goodness because I, uh, I, I like driving the truck a whole lot more. So, uh, well, see if anything else I got to say. Really, not much anything I got to say in this video. It's just let y'all know hey, the truck's down again. And I'm going to give me a carburetor. Um, I might have time to stop by the truck and show y'all it, or at least drive by it. So, if that happens, y'all I'll see that right now. <laughs> Well, there she is. I miss her. Just sitting here waiting to be saved. Waiting for a new carburetor. Can't even start it. Just a sad old day for Holly the pickup truck. Well, guys, I guess I'll, uh, I'll see you when I finish getting to work. Did y'all really think I wasn't give, gonna give y'all a shakedown on what's going on here? I had a couple minutes before work to stop by and have time to do everything, so I figured um, I'll show y'all at least what's going on. That's the gasket to the new carburetor, the new old carburetor, as, as I should say. Grand Dam's waiting for to leave, so when I had to go to work. All right, it occurred to me. Today at school, I was explaining this to people that some people don't know what a carburetor is. That right there, that's a carburetor. This one is from 1985, and it's not good because it, it locks up. And none of the, you notice you, none of, all the linkage is gone. 
Cause that's on the old, the, the new old carburetor that's at my house. And uh, this one's kind of mocked up temporarily so dirt and shit doesn't get down in the in the, in the motor. So uh, that's there. I'm gonna order new Edelbrock, put that on, and then drive the truck home, I guess, or. Shit, I don't know. I might put the old carburetor, new old carburetor back on this, drive it home. I don't know what the plan is. And then, uh, that's all I got for y'all. But yeah, I was at least going to show y'all how to do it. I had 15 minutes extra time before I had to go to work, so I figured I'd stop by and show y'all. But, uh, headers are really nice. You know, they're still, uh, you know, just dumped underneath. Still got an oil leak. I got to figure out where that's coming from. Like, did crawl under here last weekend, I think and to look around, but I couldn't find anything. I needed to find a Tom to really steam clean the shit out of this motor and get it cleaned up, because this grease makes it practically impossible to figure out where an oil leak is coming from. So, uh, you make sure you don't hit that basketball goal. Get to my redneck, plugging out of the way. Ta-ta. Uh, excuse me. Make sure all my stuff is tidied away here. Yeah, still looking good, you know. You know, as good as it's ever gonna look on the interior. I mean, the interior is practically perfect. It's just uh, that little suction right here and that tire. Oh, speed of which. There's my bumper. And there's my, my wheel right here. There y'all go. So that's sitting there for now, so it's not getting stolen. But uh, yeah, that's all. Uh, what's gonna happen today because I really can't do much like I said I have to go to work not too bad for sponsoring me I drink y'all almost every single video you gotta sponsor me at one point huh. all right guys time for me to go to work so that's all I got to say for this video video I hope you enjoyed it hope you and found it informative and all the nonsense of me which apparently about 200 of y'all enjoy watching which you know, I'm really thankful for, but why? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a like button if you enjoyed it and all that good stuff. Comment down below if you have anything to say to me. I'll answer all the comments. I do every time. <laughs> all right, guys, subscribe if you're new. All right, most importantly, stay country.